Okay, this is the April 2nd meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. Our meeting is being uh, videoed by Frontier Community Access Television for viewing later on by mm -hmm. our residents and the public. First item on the agenda is the meeting minutes for March 26th. Has everybody reviewed the minutes? Mm -hmm. The war vendor warrants? The what? No, so we do the minutes first. You're right. Yeah, minute, minutes yeah. first. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they look great. Yeah. Any, any changes or, or additions on those Good. minutes? No? Okay. I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes for the March 26th meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, next item on the agenda, we have warrants. We have a vendor warrant, $25,383. A payroll warrant of $103,339. And a payroll deduction warrant of $17,000. Five hundred and forty-six dollars. I'll make a motion that we approve those warrants. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Meetings attended by select board members. So I had one meeting this week. Um, I, I substituted for Beth Gershman, who couldn't make the Mohawk Trail Woodlands Partnership meeting. Right. And uh, it's a tough meeting to summarize. Uh, the partnership is this um, complex. Uh, um, negotiation between a bill that Steve Kulik wrote mm -hmm. and then FERCOG trying to define, you know, how the partnership would actually work that would implement Steve's bill. Um, and there have been a lot of changes to it, and there's a lot of disagreement over whether it's a good idea or not among some of the public, <coughs> mostly based on what the bill or what the partnership looked like in 2014 as compared to what it looks like now. And, and there, it, it, some people are really operating on a lot of old beliefs. And the big thing that happened that was announced in this meeting was one of the things that they're taking out of the bill is the request for any money at all. So there was a fear that the bill was asking the state to provide $6 million of sort of seed money, most of which would be towards trying to purchase conservation restrictions mm -hmm. on some of the privately owned land. The, the partnership only deals with privately owned land in, I'll say, Western Mass, Northern Western Mass, right. what's referred to as the Mohawk Trail region. And uh, the bill isn't getting massive support because the legislature is busy with a lot of other things and and there's nobody who's really pushing this bill and then there are people who are against this bill so it makes it a, 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 a tough bill for the legislature to embrace um, and, and I think to avoid the bill going before the House Ways and Means Committee, Steve felt that if it doesn't ask for money there's a better chance that the bill would be passed and uh, and so so that so the partnership is has you know, so so the people who were concerned as to whether the six million dollars would be spent in ways they don't like, um, there's no longer any money there. So mm -hmm. and okay, so. Right. I didn't have any. Okay, I uh, I attended the Franklin County Selectmen's Association meeting on Thursday night. Uh, probably close to forty people there and. Uh, there were two speakers, one on economic development for Western Mass, and um, the other was uh, HR and how HR might be able to be done regionally, um, because HR is getting to be a very complicated situation. So uh, I know the, the FERCOG is looking at the possibility of doing a regionalization mm -hmm. of, of uh, HR. We'll see. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, any um, citizens' concerns? Seeing no citizens, I guess we don't have any citizens' concerns. Old oh. business. Okay, we have fiscal year, um, a 2019 budget, consideration of money items, reductions, and or change in funding sources. Since Tom is not here tonight, um, do you have anything that you want to, you want to just read? I'll with, just read. Um, exactly. Well, as well as you can get on the camera. <laughs> yep. Here's where Tom would sit. Here you yep. go. All right. You can get his pay tonight. Sure. Yeah, I just don't want his, his illness. Right. That's what, I, that's what I don't want. Okay, so this is what Tom has to say about the budget. 
I have just two changes, one minor, one major. Mm -hmm. The minor change is that the Council on Aging was supposed to have had $800 added to their budget. I had thought the extra money for the very popular foot care program was coming from the formula grant, but in an email exchange with Pat Lynch found out that they need the extra money from the town, which was paid for last year out of the reserve fund. Because the clinics were very popular and the formula grant is not sufficient to cover the entire cost, they are requesting three months funding from the town. Mm -hmm. So he has added this extra $800 for the Council on Aging to Article 2, the 540 series, which has, it should have 1200 I think, there instead of 800 at this point. Right, okay. Right. Well, if he's so, adding another 800, it'd be 1690, wouldn't it? I think he's already done it. Yeah, but the whole total is only mm -hmm. oh, a change in 890, okay. Right. Yes, that, yes, that's he does. the change yes, 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 from, that, from he did. Okay. last year. Okay. So that's the minor um, okay. change. Now, the major change is that on advice of counsel, I have included an extra $8,081.95 under employee benefits, which is the 900 series item, for distribution as a result of the change in our health care plans. This number is subject to negotiation, but only negotiation up upwards. This is part of the administrative cost of adopting the changes to the Hampshire County Group Insurance Trust health care plan. Mm -hmm. Based on their record, the treasurer and I believe that they are worth keeping as our health insurance broker. The likely next best plan for Maya would be more volatile and almost certainly considerably more expensive in the long run. So he goes on to say, I have modified, um, excuse me, I have added $8,081.95 to the employee benefits, which is number 900. Okay. All right. And that's all he had to say about the budget. Um, everything else has remained the same. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. All right. <clears throat> I think the only thing we have to look at mm -hmm. in the town meeting warrant is the, uh, that language we need for the John Deere purchase. Is that correct? Everything else looks pretty good. There's one more modification that Tom noted. He modified the borrowing article, which is in Article 3. Um, Jan secured the opinion of bond counsel, and so he made a slight modification in the language of Article 3, which has to okay. do with the borrowing for the Right. For the bridge. But it doesn't affect the amount. It borrowing. doesn't, no, it doesn't okay. affect the amount. And that's everything. Okay. okay. So What articles are John Deere? Yeah, that's 16. Okay. So Tom is going to gonna alter that. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. So that's the, the only thing, the only changes we have for the warrant, and that'll be signed right. next week. Next week. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay, report from Frontier Regional School District Building Renovations Committee. Well, is uh, that for you? Is that you, Bob? Point, yes, it is. But I have not got can't have anything to discuss with yet. Okay. Because we're st I'm still waiting for Joe Markarian to send us up other paperwork that he said he was going to get us this past week, which he hasn't yet. So. All right. So we'll table that mm -hmm. item. But I will have to discuss it with you next week because. On the 12th of April, April, I have the next meeting with the group. Okay. All right. And they kind of wanted the wanted the feel of what the towns thought about it on the 12th. So. Okay. If they don't get the paperwork, we'll have to discuss. I have all the paperwork in my folder here. Okay. Matter of fact, right. I should make copies and give you guys copies. That would so be great. Yeah. So you could look at it. All right. So we'll we'll do that next week. I'll do this before we go home tonight. Okay. Ne next item is our, our 32B Insurance Advisory Committee. Issues and recommendations. Uh, basically, because we're making a plan change um, to the Hampshire Group Insurance Trust, uh, we have to go through this process. 
Uh, and uh, right now, tonight, <coughs> we're going to be uh, appointing the committee. Is that what we do? Appointing this committee. Um, and this committee will work over the next 30 days or so to uh, negotiate any of the changes <coughs> and uh, recommendations for the Hampshire Group Insurance Trust. Okay, so I'll make a motion that we sign these letters. Do I have a second? I'll second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We have to do it. This is, what, this, is, this is what starts the process. You have to give names? Yeah. I think it's going to be the same four people on the Insurance Advisory Committee. Is it? I think so. It looks like yes. it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, next item on the agenda is to appoint Jeff I'm going to get a better pen than this. Here you go. Um, I'm not dead, I guess. Canepta? Canepta. Canepta. Canepa. Canepa. Okay. I believe he's coming in at 6.30, so we might want to we could go, go on to some of the other items. In there. All right, we'll, we'll wait until 6.30 when he okay. comes in. Uh, next item is employee recognition letter for... Ron Sweet. It's a ten-year letter. Yes. The only question I got on that is, in the emails that we got uh, from Tom, it's a accumulation of time. <clears throat> what did he mean by that? Do we know? Ron, there was because he worked for the town a bunch of years ago, and he quit and left. Right, and then he came back. And now you're you're adding that time on top of uh, his present time. Is, is that not normal? I don't know. I that's why that that was my question. Is that a legal thing to do or not? I don't know. I I, <coughs> I, I would, know how to answer that. I I would guess it's total time. If there's it's, been a break in the time, it probably should be total time because yeah. Because I know a lot of times, uh, a lot of times, and I don't, I don't know if he did this or not, when a person quits their job and leaves, mm -hmm. they go and cash out their retirement. All right. Uh, th then they come, then they come back in no, a, later, a later time and want that accumulated time back. I mm -hmm. don't know if you can do that legally. All right. Well, we'll have we'll have Tom, Tom check into that. that. Well, but yeah. but this is just recognition. This is yeah. Right. This, this, right. this is it has it has nothing to do with insurance, the legalities, or, or, or right. pensions yeah. or anything. Yeah. All right. I'll make a motion that we sign the uh, ten-year letter of congratulations for Ron Sweet. Do I have a second? Sure. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Aye. You can, you can use the tarot. Yeah, throw that one out. Just my favorite pen. I've got to get it back from you. That's all. Any, any items not uh, anticipated within 48 hours? No? Okay. Did Tom do uh, an update? No. no. Okay. So t we don't have an update from Tom tonight. Nice short meet. Concerns of the selectmen? Do we have concerns no of the selectmen concerns. tonight? Okay. No. Did you see the sheen on Route 116 today of hydraulic rail? Ooh. From the center of town all the way down? Almost into South Area. Really? I guess they kind of thought it was one of the state hired trucks that was leaking. Putting a little salt down this morning on the road and it was spraying hydraulic fluid all over the highway. Oh my God. That's was it terrible. slippery? Oh uh, yeah. Well, no, it wasn't slippery. It was still rainy and snowing enough and it washed, it was sheeting off the road. You could see it. Because that's there. usually pretty slippery stuff. No, if it, if it don't sheet off, you're really kidding. It's like ice. <laughs> I found the road yeah. surprisingly slippery this morning. Did you? Uh, yeah. I mean, considering we had an inch of snow well, or whatever it was up where I lived. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we didn't have nothing down there. We had snow, but nothing meant to hit. Oh, no. We, it was on the road. Okay, we don't have any mail. And any announcements do we have? Do we have any announcements? No, probably not. 
All right, so what we're waiting for now is for Jeff to come in at, um, is it 6.30 he's coming yes. in? Yes. Okay. Well, right. I would say let's go ahead with that, you know. Do you think we should wait for Jeff? Well, I yeah. I, I'm, okay. I know Jeff, he's a very nice guy. Uh, I think right. he's, he's done a wonderful job. Yeah. Or right, do you want to dispense with meeting yeah. Jeff? You guys know Jeff? I, I know, yeah. I, mean, yeah, I know you Jeff. Know. I know him yeah. very well. Oh, okay. So. All right, then, then, you know, on the recommendation of the... Uh, the Conway Youth Sports Committee. Um, I'll make a motion that we appoint Jeff how Can Canapa. You know? Canapa. Canapa. Jeff Canapa as the baseball director for term ending 6-30-2018. And obviously we'll have to, to renew that yep. as, as, uh, yep. as we come over uh, into that time period. Yep. So do you want a second for that? Um, just yeah, let's do a second. Sure, second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. It's great to have dads who have yes. kids who are wild about baseball. Yep. All right, so since you guys know a Jeff uh, so well, I don't, don't think we need to, to see him. No. Uh, All right. Um, so everything is signed. Our next meeting is Monday, April the 9th, here in the town offices. And um, anything else before we, we adjourn? See you next week. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay.